Okay, so this is a quick little warm up of 4.5. What we are doing are expanding and condensing logarithms. If the directions say write it as a single log, that means you only get to write log once. Okay, that'll help you remember you're not finished if you have it not in one log. Okay, so let's go over a couple of the rules. A coefficient becomes an exponent. Adding means they multiply. Subtracting means you divide. You just put it in the denominator. So when I say this is this is four of x squared, then I take this next guy. So plus this is the log base four of y cubed. And this last one is minus log base 4 of z to the fifth. Now, these things, putting them together now with the adding being multiplying and the subtracting being divided, it doesn't work if they are not the same base. All of these are base 4, so it's okay. So this is going to become the log base 4. This adding means I can multiply that. So I've got x squared y cubed. This subtracting means I divide, so all of that over z to the fifth. So I've got the log of all of that as my answer. Okay, that is called condensing it. I wrote log one time. Now, this guy, again, I'm going to condense this, but I can work from the inside out and put this one third there at the end, or I can put the one third on each thing. I think one third distribute it, okay? So that I've got one third log base two of x minus one third times nine log base two of y minus one third times six log base two of z. So as I look at each of these, so now I've got this part and I can bring that up as an exponent, that coefficient, log base two of x to the one third, right? Okay, now one third times nine is three, right? So minus log base two of y cubed, okay? One third of six is two, so that's like minus two. So minus log base two of z squared. Okay, so far so good, right? Now, when I see this as a one-third power, I really want you to write it as the cubed root, okay? So I want you just the notation. A subtraction means it goes in the denominator, and this goes in the denominator also. So it's not that I have this complex fraction, it's that I have the log base 2 of x to the one-third, which I just said I'm going to write as a cubed root, over y cubed, and then in that same denominator is z squared. So you're going to write it like this, log base 2 of the cubed root of x over y cubed z squared, and there's your answer. Okay, I wrote log one time. I am. I know I did it right. What's up? Okay, now I have to expand, so I'm going to put a log of these four with each of these things. So for starters, I'm going to take everything that is multiplied, and I, I'm going to add them, and then I'm going to take everything that is divided, and I'm going to subtract them. So I will see the log base 4 of 16, which, by the way, will simplify, plus the log base 4 of x squared, plus the log base 4 of the square root of y minus the log base 4 of 3, because that goes in the denominator, right? And then minus the log base 4 of z cubed. Okay, a couple things here. First of all, 16 is 4 squared, right? So I can write this as log base 4 of 4 squared, 
which by the way, that part turns into two, okay? Now, when I have a, an exponent, it comes out in front as a coefficient. So plus two log base four of x. Now, this guy, I want you to realize, I, I wanted you to write it as a square root when I did it up here, like I wanted a cube root, but to get it out, I want you to think of it as a one-half power. So this is the log base 4 of y to the one-half, right? So then put that coefficient out in front, one-half log base 4 of y. Okay. Now, minus, there's nothing to simplify here with this guy. And my last one, this power comes out as a coefficient, 3 log base 4 of z. Now, as goofy as it is, there it is. This is an experiment.